seven storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. And here in southern Wisconsin, we really have been fortunate. Uh, yesterday, with all the travel getting to or bringing in family and friends for today, Thanksgiving, uh, you know, the weather was really nice. It was nice today. We got to 41, which is a little bit warmer than our average high temperature throughout all the years. It comes out to about 37 degrees. Our warmest was back in 1914 when we climbed to 64 degrees and our coolest Thanksgiving. This was a high temperature 11 degrees back in 1930. Interestingly enough, out of 150 some years of data, it only turns out that about 35% of Thanksgivings on record had snow uh, fall. So that could be a trace that could be several inches of snow. So we typically don't see snow falling on Thanksgiving, and this is just going to be another year that we did not That high pressure system continues to really dominate the weather across the Midwest where you see these very thin clouds. That's where that high pressure systems influence is right now. Back to our West, we find winter weather alerts as our next low coming off of the Rockies is set to bring in snow to obviously that area, but it will also bring us some snow as it begins to pull out of the Midwest Saturday night through Sunday. High temperatures across the state uh, ranged from the low 30s around Rhinelander and 30 in Duluth to almost 50. I'm reading that right in Kenosha. 46 was the high in Milwaukee. So very uh, interesting kind of temperature range there from northwest to southeast. Highs locally 43 in Janesville. 41 was our high in Watertown and Madison, Mineral Point and Prairie du Chien. We got to 43 in Middleton as well as in Lone Rock and Boscobel. A nice 36 there in Viroqua was our high. We're currently at 23. Slipping into those teens around Camp Douglas. Still holding on to the low 30s in Janesville and Beloit. But with these clear to mostly clear conditions that we are expecting tonight and those northerly winds, it's going to be a bit cool out there to say the least. We should be at about 26 degrees, but we're going to settle more into those low to mid teens, maybe a few upper teens to low 20s the farther south you live. Let's walk future track through the rest of this evening into your Black Friday morning. Clear skies if you're going to be going out there early, but if you're hanging out and maybe waiting on the, the shopping till later in the afternoon, we'll maybe add back a little bit more cloud cover. Southerly winds, though, take over Saturday, and that means a little uh, bit more cloud cover, to say the least, as we go into your Saturday. Could squeeze out a few light flurries across the southwest late Saturday into early Sunday, but most of that snow really impacts us as we go throughout the morning hours on Sunday, and then a second passing cold front could spark up a little bit more flurry action into the afternoon. Early models want to suggest around an inch of snow in the Madison area. This isn't going to be a heavy snowmaker, so maybe about a half an inch to an inch and a half, maybe upwards of two inches for folks across southern Wisconsin. We'll have a better look as we get closer to Sunday, but uh, again, it just kind of looks like a nice little blanket of snow there to end the weekend. Low 30s for us across really all of Wisconsin, or at least southern Wisconsin tomorrow. So if you are going to be doing any shopping, just make sure that you've got that winter coat on. Not going to be a breezy day, so uh, the wind chill factor isn't going to be a big deal, but we're going to be cooler than that average high for Black Friday, right around 40 degrees, 39 to be exact. But as I mentioned before, we typically don't see snow on Thanksgiving, but almost 41% uh, of Black Fridays on record and almost 60% of Black Fridays on record had some sort of snow or rain. So it's kind of interesting that a day literally makes a difference. Snow on Sunday and then we dry out as we go into next week with maybe flurries returning Wednesday night into Thursday. That's good. To, that's so strange that a day makes such a Literally difference. Literally a day. Crazy. I know, and we're always hoping for a white Christmas and we get a white Black Friday. We'll have to see how Christmas is this year. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep I know. our fingers crossed. I, I need to, I, I can't get too ahead of myself. I'm, I'm, I just heard snow. I got I excited. Get it. I, I get it. It's been a minute since we've seen it. I know. It has been. <laughs> okay, thanks.